today we are going to demonstrate how to prepare masala dosa. Um, dosa is actually traditionally a uh, South Indian dish, but it's enjoyed all over India. And it's made of um, rice and um, black ram beans, as you see. And so it's very rich in carbohydrates and proteins. And since it's prepared with uh, minimal oil, it's, that makes it an even healthier dish. And um, you can enjoy dosa like for breakfast or lunch or dinner or even as a quick snack um, any time of the day. Um, and there are many types of dosas like plain dosa or paper dosa. But today we're going to show you how to prepare a special kind called um, masala dosa. So the first thing to prepare and the main thing to prepare is the dosa batter. And for that you just need four simple ingredients. and. Um, they are, um, here we have one and a half um, cups of rice and then we have um, half teaspoon of fenugreek seeds but this is an optional ingredient if you don't have it it's fine and then we have um, black ram beans over here and you can find these in Indian stores and, um, and then we have salt to taste we have to wash the rice enough water. This is the uh, black gram beans and this is fenugreek seed. So we will mix together and wash it also. Let these ingredients soak overnight and then you drain um, the water out and save it if you want. And then you grind them into a paste and then you let it ferment. You let it sit like this and ferment for like six to eight hours um, more in the winter months and um, you'll see the level of the batter rise over time and it's because of the bubbles from the fermentation and then you can mix it like this and um, the consistency should be similar to this um, not too thick or not too thin if it's too thick you should add water and make sure the consistency is something like this and then at the end of this, after fermentation, you add salt to taste. We've already added salt. We added um, just salt to taste. Depends on your taste. Um, and so that's the batter and you set it aside. So the next thing we have to make is the masala chutney and this is what makes it masala dosa. Like all the other kinds of dosas, they don't involve this chutney. So this is a pretty important part. And for that, you need these ingredients. Um, so you need salt to taste, and then you need um, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and one fourth cup of Bengal gram, and these can be found in Indian stores. Then two tablespoons of lime juice, and you can use some tomato ketchup, but that's optional. And then um, half um, teaspoon of ginger, and two to three cloves of garlic. Um, and then four to five um, dry red chili but you can change this according to how spicy you want it to be you can put less or even more if you want but this is the like medium spicy and then you have to soak this in water for about four hours to make it soft so it's easier to um, mix Cumin powder. After all the grinding, this is the final masala chutney. Okay, so now the final step before we make the actual dosa is the potato stuffing. And for that, here are the ingredients. So we need two big potatoes boiled and peeled and then half mashed like this and then two tablespoon of oil of your choice um, salt to taste two stems of curry leaves and then two stems of coriander leaves chopped like this and then one to two green chilies chopped we've actually already added the green chilies into this and then half teaspoon of um, Bengal gram and half teaspoon of black gram. We put them together. 
and then half cup of peas, and one fourth teaspoon of dry mango powder, and one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. And then we have here one teaspoon of mustard seeds, and one dry red chili. We're gonna break this into small pieces later. And then here one medium sized onion, chopped like this. For making potato stuffing, we have to heat oil in a pan. Medium heat. Yeah, medium heat. Let us see whether it is hot or not. Then we put uh, this red chili, dry red chili, broken into pieces. Then mustard seed. Mustard seed will crackle after. So when the pan is hot enough, um, you can see the mustard seeds crackling. Started crackling. Then we will put this. Okay, so that was the black gram beans and Bengal gram beans. Bengal gram. Then add this uh, curry leaf. Then onion. Green Turmeric Then potato Mash Boil and mash Then this uh, dry mango powder. Now potato stuffing is ready. So this is coriander leaves and green chili. You add that in the end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's done. Now we make this up. Okay, so you let this set, set and cool for a few minutes. Okay, so now that all three parts are done, we're going to incorporate each of them and we're going to make the final dosa dish. Making dosa, you need to heat the pan. Smear some oil all over the pan. Before then, sprinkle. sprinkle some water. Yeah, it, it sizzles. That means the pan is hot enough to make dosha. Then, dan in a white uh, pan with a damp cloth so that the temperature will reduce little. Spread it over the pan in a circular motion. Increase the heat to medium. Wait for some time so that it will be good. Put some oil over the edges so that it will not stick to the pan. Yeah, now spread the okay, chutney. So this is the masala chutney we made earlier. Then just spread it evenly. Basically, you have to wait for the dosa to become golden brown color. In the middle. In the end, you serve it with um, 
coconut chutney and sambar. This is the coconut chutney. It's good to eat the dosa with this. And you can also eat it with um, with this. This is called sambar. It's kind of like a soup. And you just dip the dosa in this. I'm sure they'll definitely love it.